Hi YouTubers. Today we're doing a review on the Power Tekon Pure Sine Wave Inverter. Their model PS1002 1000 watt continuous and 2000 watt uh, surge power. So this is what the unit looks like and um, it comes with two 8 gauge cables that are 2 feet long each and it also has a remote switch which plugs in with this looks like an RJ11 connector which plugs in right there uh, you have a USB port uh, which is um, uh, high power rating which will fast charge uh, a cell phone or a, an iPad or Fire HD tablet and uh, two outlets AC 120 volts and your input connectors on this side uh, for a 12 volt input and you also have this ground connector which you can see the included 8 gauge cables are really not thick enough to properly conduct the full thousand watt power continuously uh, through this and they say that in their uh, manual uh, so I purchased some four gauge cables to replace them and I'll show you them in a minute I have it temporarily hooked up to this uh, jump starter battery thing just to demonstrate the unit to provide a 12 volt source and I'm going to plug in this lamp here just to demonstrate. So the lamp is now plugged in. I'm going to turn on the switch. Whoops, <laughs> forgot. Uh, you have to turn the unit on first. It has an on off switch there, which can be either uh, operated directly on the unit or if you have the remote switch attached, you can uh, turn it on and off from the remote switch. Now that the unit's on, the light is working. Uh, we'll turn it off. It has safety features built in for overload, etc. And uh, if you have a piece of equipment which tends to surge when it comes on, one trick that you can do is uh, turn the unit off then turn your source on whatever you're going to power now watch how the light comes on gradually and you can see it stage up in uh, several stages of power and that's to help prevent the overload from popping the built-in circuit breaker. There are four slots in the bottom plate of the um, inverter and they uh, supply eight grommets. I guess that's if you wear out because you only need four. And I've screwed them into a short piece of pressurized uh, lumber and the reason for that is um, because of the scenarios in which I plan to use it, I want to be able to keep it isolated from the uh, surface on which it's resting. And also guarantee that I have a space. These grommets, you can see. Uh, let me see if you can see it. Um, hmm. Hard to show it here, but there is a space of about, uh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch between the wood and the inverter. 
allowing airflow across the bottom of the unit. And that should opt. Oh, there you go. Now you can see through it. And that will optimize cooling. Now here I've attached the remote switch and I will uh, press the power button and you can see the unit came on, the light came on. All right, let's uh, turn everything off there. You, you can use the ground connector if you have a permanent installation to uh, connect to an electrical ground and uh, you need to be careful after you've turned the unit off. Uh, I did use a multimeter to measure the voltage across this under different scenarios and um, there is Vol even when the units turned off there were a few volts not 12 volts but a few volts uh, going across these connectors I guess that may be for the monitoring for switching or whatever I don't know I don't know what the internal circuitry is uh, how that's set up but it's not zero voltage and uh, when I was screwing in the base plate into the wood I accidentally touched both posts uh, here together even though the unit was off and even though there was no power connected to the inverter there was a spark across that so there must be capacitors inside the inverter which are storing electricity and this was days after it was last connected so be careful with that I don't think it's high voltage Probably not very dangerous, but there is some current across those things even when it's not plugged in So to provide a four gauge cable and to Attach a heavy-duty clamp on one end of it. Uh, I ordered these uh, online these are made by Spartan cables and this is a real beefy thing. You can see how this thing is built. I mean, Jesus, that the thickness of that copper ribbon, the way it's attached onto the, the teeth here, you can see the, the full ribbon going right into the teeth on that side and on the other side. So you can trust that these clamps and cable are really going to conduct a true four gauge uh, uh, current through the wire so I should be able to safely run the full thousand watts continuous uh, for my applications now my applications are uh, one uh, to use my Prius as an emergency generator so all I have to do is plug uh, my inverter into the accessory battery of my Prius uh, you know have the Prius turned on and then the Prius will turn itself on when it needs to recharge the battery I understand that will do it for about 30 seconds and then turn itself off uh, for about five minutes so about every five minutes it should come on for about 30 seconds to keep the battery topped off and uh, I understand you can run a generator like this or, or your inverter uh, for about a week <laughs> so if you got a storm and uh, you want to you know use this as an emergency generator this is an option uh, one advantage of this is um, if I've got portable generators but let's say it's raining it's kind of hard to keep the generators out of the rain you have to build a shelter for them uh, here if I've got it in the car well the car can be outside I could crack the window and run the cord out the window and, uh, and into the house the, the cars outside so I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide poisoning and um, you know again it's it's a thousand watts it's not running the whole house but you know it's an emergency generator it's, it's an option 
Will I ever use it? I don't know, but it's good to have. The other thing is with these clamps, not only can I quickly clamp this to my Prius battery, but I fly our RC airplanes and we have charger stations at our fields which have, uh, I believe it's four gauge uh, copper wire buses that go across for so that multiple people can plug their RC chargers into this charging station. Well, I can take this inverter and just clamp right onto that bus and have 1,000 watt continuous 2,000 watt surge power at the flying field should I need it. Uh, again, you're not going to want to run this all the time on that on those uh, off-grid solar stations, but uh, if you need AC power at the field, this is an option. Uh, certainly a whole lot lighter than carrying a generator with you and the gasoline and everything else. I mean, the, the, the uh, solar charging stations have large battery setups already the question is you know how do you tap into that if you need ac power this gives you that option so i got this on amazon i believe it was around 160 bucks the cable i believe was around 20 the cables here extra ones are 29 bucks uh and uh 24 or 29 bucks somewhere in that range um and uh, I think it will, you know, serve the purposes for which I got it. It's pure sine waves, so you don't have to worry about uh, overheating or destroying the uh, electronics that you plug into it, uh, as opposed to the modified sine wave inverters, which are a lot cheaper, but aren't as safe to use. Um, so... I hope you found this uh, useful uh, in your decision as to uh, your options in uh, purchasing an inverter. Thanks for watching.